Professor Rosie Woodruff is from the Zoological Society of London. She was involved in a study which saw the killing of more than 11,000 badgers over a decade. The work that the minister was referring to there, which he said it showed a clear reduction, uh, that comes from the randomised badger culling trial. It's the best evidence that's available, and there is consensus that it's the best evidence that's available. Um, I wouldn't... Um, characterise the uh, the results in quite the same way. I wouldn't say that it showed a clear reduction. It did show a reduction inside culling areas uh, over time, but it it also had these detrimental effects on adjoining land. And where culls were patchy, where culls were small scale, or where culls had not been going on for a very long time, there were significant increases in, in TB infection for cattle. So here we are with this uh, debate, which is now centred on these uh, latest uh, test culls. What do you think of those? My opinion, as is the opinion of the, of the majority of informed scientists in the UK today, is that uh, this is not really the way forward. This is not an effective way of uh, controlling this disease, which is a, you know, a very serious problem for farmers. We owe it to farmers to give them you know, solutions which are effective and the scientific evidence suggests that this is not, this is risky and it's not very promising. Are you talking about the uh, test culls or culling generally? Um, culling generally, actually, but, um, but specifically the way it's being done uh, with these, these test culls being, being done at farmer's expense, coordinated by farmers. Having, having overseen culls uh, as part of the randomised badger culling trial, there's a great deal of, um, of, of technical challenge and logistical challenge in organising them, which is, you know, and, uh, and the scientific evidence suggests that if you are unable, for whatever reason, to meet that challenge, um, then you risk actually making TB worse rather than better. Now, I may be confused here, but are we not hearing the Environment Secretary look at the work that you were involved in and say it shows, it demonstrates, it proves one thing, and you're looking at exactly the same study and you're telling us it actually shows the opposite. Yes, you're, you're, you're correct in, in, in what you say, and I think that um, often the, you know, the way this argument is characterised is that badgers are giving TB to cattle, and so we have to cull them. And that is, it's correct insofar as there's no evidence. I wouldn't dispute Mr Patterson's point that about half of the um, infection appears to be related to badgers. Um, but, then, but then, you know, the next point is, well, will culling work? Now, culling has a very strange and unexpected impact on, on TB within badgers. It changes their behavior, disrupts their territory behavior and the way that badgers interact with one another, which increases disease transmission among the badgers and makes each badger more infectious to cattle. Do you have a view on a better alternative? My opinion is that um, vaccination of badgers shows greater promise if only because it is expected to reduce the proportion of badgers which are infected, whereas we know that culling increases the proportion of badgers which are infected. From the Zoological Society of London, that's Professor Rosie Woodruff.